takeaways. We got a nice buy on the Nasdaq. We got a very, very nice lift right into the VWAP. And then we see what happened here. Look at what happened here. Look, see that? See that? Filling an order flow. Filling an order flow. So that's a refreshed order book right there, isn't it? It's not a nice order. It's a refreshed order book. Now, it's only going to be good if it fills all the way back up. So you can see that refreshed order book coming in right there. That's what a refreshed order book looks like. You can start to see the refreshing in behind that price. Now, here's another good example of a potential refreshed order book here. No shit share look. That was us. Putting in a buy order behind that because in our actual trade, we got some really good size into this low price after we'd swept the stops of the bottom edge here. This is the call we made out for the sweep. Now, if you look in the background, take a look at where the high of that swing was. We just completed an end shape. So we know that there's a guaranteed uh, we know that there's a guaranteed discount down here, don't we? So we're we're just below the 34s. We're just below the 34s at that price. We're at 30s at this price. So we know that 26 is a guaranteed, right? We know that 26 is a guaranteed discount price. So obviously, when the price starts exhausting, when we start seeing the deltas dropping, see how the deltas dropped here? So the selling deltas came in, but the deltas started to drop. The chances of getting any lower down into that guaranteed premium is, is getting or guaranteed discount is getting less and less and less. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to pick up this bit of business here. I wanted to start doing some business in here. And once you pick up some really good size on this, the one thing you don't want is you don't want the price dropping because you've now done the size. You've done what you needed to do. So it was very much the case of adding in some buy side liquidity onto the limit order book to frighten away any sellers. There's the buy side liquidity being already added into the limit order book to frighten away the sellers. This is a 15 second chart. 45 seconds later, the price explodes north away from that price area. The sellers have been frightened away. And you've obviously been able to make some easy money gains through into these top edge prices. Again, coming back off these areas, and you can start to recognize just how nice that little bit of business was into that price area. So we started to close off our trade. It was a brilliant little bit of business. And, um, and, uh, and, and it was fantastic. It was a fantastic macro storyline. The whole storyline was a fantastic little storyline. And, I, you know, and I think that storyline is still in place. I mean, I think this is one of those trades that uh, we could uh, probably buy several times on several sweeps and still keep making some nice cash on these deals. That's what we've been doing, guys. This is not that difficult, but it takes process. It takes a, it takes an eye. It takes a bit of time. Just make sure you're looking for the right things. Make sure you're understanding why things happen for these trades. Why are you getting a discount? Because if you don't know why you're getting a discount, it's because somebody's selling. If you can't explain why somebody's selling, you haven't got a trade yet, have you? You haven't got a trade yet. You haven't got anything. All you've got is a big hellish discount, and you're thinking to yourself, well, somebody's selling. There's no way I can buy into that storyline while well, somebody's selling. We've got a bit of a sell coming in on the S&P because the S&P's just ran some stops here. So obviously that's something that's uh, standing out a little bit for me just now. It's not a, it's not a NASDAQ buy trade. It's just an S&P stop run, and that's going to push the NASDAQ back through those bottom edges. So we're getting a bit of selling pressure coming in. Bit of volatility there coming in. Uh, I don't know if it's linked to that uh, Canadian announcement about extra taxing. So if anybody's in property or anything like that, you're going to get whacked by through those new tax plans. So I don't know if that's had any impact there on uh, gold prices or equity prices or whatever. Uh, it doesn't seem as if it's particularly market moving. So uh, just maybe a little bit of just a bit of negative noise there coming in that's uh, driven equities down through stop areas. Maybe just timed to uh, cause a little bit of damage. I have ended up buying the uh, NASDAQ just off the 16 three quarters there. So I'm just going to take a little bit of profit at 20 here just now. And uh, quite happy with that little bottom edge. Um, I've just been scratched out on it. Interesting. Let me go again. Let me go back into it again. So we'll see what happens.
Sterling's still coming in in the S&P at the moment, so I'm not rebuying it just now, guys. I'm quite happy to stay on the sidelines on this occasion. Just getting a little bit of negativity coming creeping into the markets here, so not being the one that wants to be the the buyer of the bottom edges. Quite happy just to wait until I get a new lean, which we haven't got on this occasion. So um, a little bit surprised. I thought we'd have got a lean on that buy trade there. I thought we'd have got a lean at a little bit lower prices, but the selling's vanished. So I do want to be long. I'm just going to wait for my opportunity to pounce on this.